Hello everyone. Um, we have a beautiful portrait today, which I think it must be Caravaggio's. Uh, it's one of Caravaggio's portraits. So I want you to get this, this, uh, this awe that this person, uh, the, it, he's in awe, he's looking at something, he cannot believe it. So how to get that onto our painting, <coughs> onto our drawing. So it's a painting anyway. I'll start with it. It's a beautiful, beautiful portrait. And uh, maybe his um, beard, goatee. And first of all, this is the light. It's the light area. That's his hair. And the shadow area here. Oh, shadow. There you are. And uh, his hands, his powerful muscular hands. And a little bit of. Here, then you have that angle, angle of his uh, hand here, which is basically the shadowy, the shadowy part, and his little finger is grab, is grabbing his hair here, and this part of his, hmm? of his, uh, that fleshy, fleshy part of the hand, here. And then you have a background. Dark, 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 dark. I've always uh, been intrigued by this portrait. I found it amazing. It's amazing that it's having such that having having that amazing expression, beautifully drawn and painted without the help of photography that nowadays we have that easily you can pose someone and take a picture of that and then work after imagine the um, the memory that Caravaggio must have had to paint this without the picture without the photography without the photography that we have today and that shows the genius of Caravaggio. Coat it. And uh, hair. Hair, hair, hair. It's all dark, anyway. And you have his hand there, as I said. That big bit here. And then. Let's get that expression. A complete, and he said, I cannot believe it, basically. What? I cannot believe it. So, just to think of that, think in this way, and you will have, you force yourself to make that expression to create that expression, just so what I'm saying basically, just thinking that what he's thinking, uh, or that like you would actually say, put yourself in his shoes. What? Now keep an eye because the eye is actually lowered, so you have the eyebrow at the top, and you have the eye just lower down here, so. You have, there's a, there's a, the white of the eyes up here, up here. It's the opposite. It's not down here. Huh? Then you have his moustache, obviously, softly. Move it. Both sides, both both ends. <coughs> That's also in shadow, 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 shadow. Mm -hmm. The 
see it. And then you have his neck, his neck is moving. There's an angle to the neck. It's right on the left, this way. And then you have his um, <coughs> shirt here. And then loads of folds here. Folds, folds, folds. And then hair. Hair around. And then this. Hmm? That transparent shadow of his muscular hands again. Then the shirt that he's wearing. I don't want to go too too much details, but we can get few folds here and there. And his other eye. Now the distance between two eyes, it's another eye, so say it starts from there. So the distance, the distance between the two eyes, one, it's a third eye, one, two, there. And the shadow here. This, I'm trying to get this at light on his nose. And I think his nose is a little bit elongated more than that. So what I need to do is to elongate the nose a bit more. Especially the distance between this triangle and his lower lip. And the lips, not lower the lips in general. And his lower lip here. Moustache, both ways. And then we have the shadow, the cast shadow of his eye onto here. Yeah, that absolute light here, beautifully lit. He's actually tearing his hair. He's tearing his. He's, he's just holding from his hair. You know, again, he's so much in awe. You cannot believe what he's seeing. Mm. How to get that expression? That's the most difficult thing. Shadow, King, uh, the middle lip, mm, that middle lip here, the line in the middle lip here, uh, sorry, the upper lip, the upper lip, then you have the moustache coming through. And, and there we are. The eyebrow moving up. The eyes a bit closer together. So I'll move that eye a bit closer here. That's it. Move it closer here. And then the upper eyelid. 
upari and the eyebrow. It's not an easy portrait, so you have to be patient with this one. Get the likeness, to get the proportions right. Well, proportions, more than anything else. And likeness, of course, if you get the likeness, it's, a, it's an added bonus. But more than anything is proportion. And the expression. More than proportion, it's even even more than proportion is expression. That's it, it needed the nose to be a little bit longer. As I said, longer, longer nose. There you are. Push the eyes a bit further up. It's about moving the nose down and pushing the eyes a bit further up here. That's again, you see, with charcoal, it's easily fixable. You can get straight to the point. with not much fuss. Again, move the eyes a bit further up. And um, the other eye. Are they at the same angle? Uh, right. Yes, yes and no. It's just this is slightly raised, <coughs> this eye. The left as we see it, or his right eye, slightly further up. And then you have that beautiful shadow here. And again, Let's emphasize as much as we can this triangle of his nose. Hmm? Upper lip, a little bit lighter. The middle, the line which separates the two lips is quite thick. And then you have the lower lip. His red cheek. Obviously, we don't have red, but you have to darken it to make that red shade. It's shading, basically. And then you have dark, 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 dark. And then you have that dark shadow here. Cheekbone, hair, very, very dark hair. Hmm? And slightly darker, his neck shadow darker than his. Uh, face basically then 
Hmm? That's his um, fleshy bit here. No, there. It's like his left hand. And then you have the muscle, 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 mass, muscle, mass. structure here there we are. and then his little finger is right here his little finger it's right on that side here. There you have it. It's there. And again, that muscly part of the hand, this side. A bit, then you have the bone structure, which we don't see. I don't know what's going on there because it's not been the picture, just doesn't provide that. Just a little finger, there you have it. The hand there, beautifully done on the original, I mean. Size this a bit more. And you have the eyebrow. And you have a nostril. And the other eyelid. The other eye. The eyelid. eyelid again and the, the length of the nose by highlighting the, the light on the top of the nose and everything else could go way darker way dark around the nose here especially around the nose and let's take those highlights a little bit further here by making bringing those highlights just around there hmm? there you have it and top of the nose Drag it like this, and uh, cheekbone, and yeah, keep that area light, this part, because it's all lit up, and you have the hair, and see, squinting my eyes and see like a triangular shape here. Look. It's there. That triangle. It's a shadow. It's hair, basically. It's hair. Splitting his hair. What is going on? He's thinking. Okay. 
I don't know the story of this face, but um, I'll look it up if I'll find it because there's no name. There's no name, so I need to find out. It's not been named the picture, so I cannot find it by name, but maybe by looking up his pictures, that will come up as an explanation why is what we're seeing. Sorry, I should have looked it up. I've been working. Quite long hours this week. And uh, little, little, little thing here. Again. Maybe give him a little bit more. Huh? I'm, I'm doing it my, on my own now. That's my initiative. It's nothing. I don't know how it is. There's nothing there, but that's my initiative here. And I think it should be something like this. And the hand itself is right down here. So that fleshy bit is bigger, slightly bigger. Okay, now, he's white of the eye, he's surprisingly quite bright, but still he's not whiter than the shadow, you see? Can they uh, just make light here? There we are, one. And then so is the other side. Toxelesis. Toxelophilines. Sorry. Start sleeping in Greek now. I forgot that I'm being... I should speak in English now. Okay, some highlight here. The top of the eyebrow. This is what it gives the expression. Huh? See? lower that eyebrow and raise this one and that's exactly what gives the expression there on his face Darker, darker, darker this side. Darker here. There we are. Okay, we're getting closer. Closer and closer. Now a little bit highlight on his upper lip. The, the boy is really, really young. I would say in his 20s. So it's that youthful look, which is very hard to get. See, it's easier when you work on wrinkles, a lot easier. But that youthful look is that you need to softly get those. You see those, all these areas about right there, he is so harsh. I need to change them, to, to, to soften them, to get again, to get that smooth skin. Darker and moves right down there. 
when you have a shadow of his um, thumb right here and the highlight here the thumb is just moved there the thumb just gets inside its hair A little bit darker here as well. I would say darker, 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 darker to this. Again, the smoothness of the skin. Darker here. around here and uh, around the surface of my and there you have it mm -hmm. the bag under the eye which obviously it doesn't really, it's not, but you need that darkness here to emphasize the bright of his light, of his, the bright of the eye. Yeah? We need that. So you see that makes him already, that little light that I put it made him already a lot older. So that need to, need to be, be careful with his dark, not to em overemphasize it. Moustache, emphasize the moustache there, that goes soft, softer, that's better. You see, just getting rid of those lines on the shadow. There are shadows there, they have dark shade, dark shadows, but they're soft. That's it. A little bit more of hair coming through that's very dark. That's his collar. And this is the fold, these are the folds. And then you have shadow here. Sorry, shading. Oh no, shadows of the of his cast um, cast shadows from his head. And then also the dark of his neck. Darker than that. There we are. Alright. I need to darken it a bit more. Yeah, I need to darken it a bit more as well. So and getting that nose nostril here a little bit tucked in here because it was spread too much. Then look the two nostril holes careful not to darken too much, just a tiny touch. 
That's enough. See? That's enough. And the hair to emphasize his mustache. raise his side of the lip, raise him up in, I mean, get that expression, that's what I mean by saying raise him, get the expression of smiling and um, facial hair, a bit darker here. Let's go with it. Okay, we get him there a little bit darker here. Darker, darker. And actually, I will do this experiment. I will darken that as much as I can and then try and keep it. Well, it is dark to start with, but I don't want it way too dark because then it will out-compete out the darks here. So I want a, a softer background, a dark background, but not too dark. Darker is just the hair. So keep the background onto a mild, dark tone here. There we go. Re-emphasize those areas. Okay. Okay. Is he here? I mean, I'm just emphasizing that it's not there as much as you would expect because it's within the dark shadow. <coughs> Sorry. But uh, yeah, it's um, a lot of it is where it needs to be. A lot of the face is dragging his hair. This part of his is tangled with his little finger. Now what I was saying is that this, the hand or the, the bone, the hand and the bone where they meet is a straight line which it goes there and then you have the hand moving up this way. Hmm? You have the bone structure, and then that's all dark around here. Then you have the muscle structure. Now, I could darken that first, and then start and highlight just these fleshy, fleshy bits here. See, in between. Bone structure here. Just re emphasize that bone structure. Finger. There you go. Okay, hand and uh, 
Half top, all around the head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just re-emphasize the facial hair here. Okay, what's the day today? Today is the 29th. 29th. I'll see you on the next one. I think it's done. It's a good expression, yet. Yeah. Okay, let me show you closer. Okay, then see you in the next one.